हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दैट इज आट क्यूरियो केमिस्ट्री आई होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग वेल एंड यू आर डू प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर एग्जाम दैट इज इन फेब राइट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अबाउट वाई कार्बन इज सेट टू बी वर्सटाइल ये नाउ अट इज यू आर ऑल्सो वर्सटाइल यू आर शोइंग दिस सो मेनी फीचर्स राइट यू आर गोइंग टू द गर्बा एंड यू आर ऑल्सो स्टनिंग दैट इज यू आर सो वर्सटाइल इन नेचर सो सिमिलरली कार्बन इज ऑल्सो वर्सटाइल सो आई होप यूर नवरात्रि इज गोइंग वेरी वेल सो लेट्स विथ let's begin with the first reason why carbon is said to be versatile in nature so carbon has the unique ability to form bonds with other atoms right you are also playing garba with any other means if you don't know that person still you are <laughs> you are doing the garba with that person same similarly carbon is also making the bonds with any other elements other than the carbon right so you just have to connect like that only so it shows this single bond double bond triple bond right and this type of property is said to be catenation where right where carbon is connecting okay where carbon is connecting to other elements or the atoms and formation and forming the large molecules for example in doing arma i am just showing like this okay we are making one circle and we are standing like this and and we are moving so moving 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 and we are making a large molecule yes we can connect right so this type of property is said to be catenation property okay so by this property we are getting two types of compounds here first one is saturated compound what is saturated compound now where carbon and carbon connected with single bond carbon and carbon connected with single bond that time you have to say these are the carbon okay carbon and carbon connected with single bond that time you have to say these are saturated carbon compound okay when a single bond is there but when double bond and triple bonds are there so that time they are unsaturated carbon compounds when you can see double bond or triple bond then you have to say these are the unsaturated carbon compounds okay so such type of property only carbon can shows we have the exception you can see on the screen already that is silicon silicon is the exception in this it can make chains up to 7 to 8 atoms but this type of formation is very reactive okay very reactive and unstable if it is reactive then how it can be stable right so we have touch wood we have carbon carbon compounds which are very strong and stable so this gives us a large number of compounds with many atoms linked with each other okay so the second reason is that carbon showing four valency because of that it can bond with any other element that is particularly monovalent then monovalent mean they are having the one valence so we have oxygen hydrogen sulfur nitrogen and chlorine so on so and many other element gives rise as compounds with specific properties which depends on the element other than the carbon present in the molecule for example when you connect carbon and sulfur so here particularly we will focus on the sulfur characteristics as compared to the carbon okay this is the benefit here now because of the small size of the carbon it enables the nucleus yes it having the small size that's why it's the nucleus to hold on the shared paired electron strongly but the bonds formed by elements having larger atoms they are much weaker than as compared to the carbon okay so these are the reasons why carbon is showing the versatile nature so i hope you understood about the particularly why carbon is in versatile nature right so if you are watching my videos please subscribe if you are not watching my videos again subscribe and if you are not subscribe stay uh, but you are watching subscribe my channel so you can get the video before anyone else so share this video with your friends and family thanks for watching